Um, so, do you want to start? Or All should right. Start? Uh, I'll, I'll just start by saying this. Um, I think that there probably won't even be any new Pikmin types. Uh -huh. If there are, they're going to just replace rocks and wings. But I don't think there'll be any new ones, because, like, where can you even go with, like, new Pikmin types? Like, I haven't seen anyone come up with any good ideas, mm -hmm. to be honest. I don't, I don't think there can be new Pikmin types either, because it, like, it covers everything already, and rock is, like, another purple, but it's, like, unique enough that it's new. Yeah, I mean, rock and wings are just, like, different versions of white and purple, in Actually, my opinion. I think the only Pikmin that they could potentially make... Is for Bulbman, the para like a parasite Pikmin. I think that's the only new Pikmin that they could possibly make. Oh my god, yes. Dude, I've always wanted... I think I've told you about this before. I've always wanted to use, like, the parasite Pikmin on its own, because you can, um... You could, like... Throw them at an enemy, for example. And if you throw enough to, like, fill out that enemy's carry weight, it would... It would, uh parasitize the enemy so like you throw 10 on a big bulb orb and then you got a big bulb orb following you temporarily or whatever like that'd be cool mm -hmm. but it's so like awkward and weird it's just it's just fun as an idea i don't think it would ever be good in the game yeah it's, it's because like it, it could be overpowered there's a lot of balancing but i think if if it were to be a thing that would be um the one that they would make and that would put like they would put their effort into making that one work good it would probably, well, probably have to be exclusive to the underground. Mm -hmm. Which makes me yeah. say that my next prediction is that I think dungeons are coming back. I think that they are not coming back. T tired? Huh? Hello? What? Hello? Hello? Tyson? Yeah, hello? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Okay. God. What happened? I said I, I don't think <laughs> the dungeons are coming back because oh. it just seems like... seems like they're done with it or something. I... But, I don't know, they could. I don't have a huge reason as to why, I just feel it. I just feel that it. it's too fun, like, they don't even want to do it, it's because it's fun. I think, like, I, I feel like they've been working on it pretty hard throughout the entire years that we've been waiting for it, so, like, it, so like they probably are working on designing really good dungeons, and that's why it's Hopefully. Because I really want dungeons back. Me too. I want to like, because I, I I think we can we can say, do you think they're gonna bring treasures back? Well, yeah, I think so, because that clock really looked like a treasure to me. Mm hmm. And so, and and it, it's kind of like hard to make. I guess it's not that hard because they didn't pick the three to make treasures without dungeons, but it's like only overworld treasures. It would. It would be better to have dungeons with the treasures, you know? Well, the treasures are no different from any other MacGuffin in Pikmin, like the ship parts and, yeah. the, like, fruits. They're the same exact thing. So it's not difficult to do surface treasures. They did that in Pikmin 2, even. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just that if they want to, like, bring back, like, a debt system or something, mm -hmm. then... You know what I want? Anyway. Hmm? You know what I really want in, in Pikmin what? 3? I want... Um, sorry, Pikmin 4. I want the third Pikmin short that was released. And I want that to be... the dis Like how they dismantled the big crane. I want that to be mm -hmm. um, a mechanic in Pikmin 4. Where we can have... like In the trailer, we saw the big human bench... So, yeah. like, what if we could take that apart? What if we could take apart, like, big, like, toys and stuff? Mm -hmm. Olimar took apart a whole industrial-sized 
um, excavator, so we should totally be able to do the same thing. Hmm. Maybe. I feel like if they went through the effort of it, you would only be able to do it, like, once throughout the entire save file. Yeah. It's like... Like, they would have an entire area dedicated to just taking something apart. Yeah, like, one... That would be one, the entire area. One whole stage is... It maybe could be, like, a, um... What could it be? It could be the crane. Yeah, <laughs> the crane, a car. Something with a lot of yeah, small a car. parts. There's so many, like, giant parts yeah. of cars. A toy car. A toy car? Yeah. It's like the size of the ship, anyway. <laughs> And yeah, we took the back the ship parts. So I guess. Be. Anyway, I don't, I don't know. I've, I've, I've got this feeling that they're gonna keep doing Kopai stuff instead of Hawkatates or a new planet. They're just gonna keep doing Kopai. That's my prediction. I think, I think that I agree. I think um, the character that we saw in the trailer, I feel like he's like Alf and Brittany's kid. <laughs> yeah, here I have written down here. There's, gonna, there's still going to be three captains, but Alf returns. I don't remember why I wrote that, but <laughs> that's what I have. That, that's, like, oddly specific. I know. Well, it, I mean, it's just, like, I tried to make some of my predictions specific just in case, you know? <laughs> um, let me pull up my list again. Um, what if... This is not on my list. What if we get PvP again? Or what, what if there's yeah, I mean, like, or what if, like, this is something that I, I heard from somebody else on like Picord, I don't remember, but it, it was like, they had an idea of you going back to the planet as maybe Olimar or something, but other Hakatate captains are there trying to get their scoop of treasure, and like, it's just like, you fight them. <laughs> I don't know, it that kind of doesn't see. It doesn't seem like the spirit of Pikmin, to be honest. And then you kill them, and they turn into Pikmin when you put them in their own. Um... <laughs> now I know you're messing with me. Mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna call back to the Garden of Hope, not the Forest of Hope. They're gonna call back to the Garden of Hope from Pikmin Three. Oh, I I said that they're gonna revisit every single old level that that ever existed, like every old surface map, from one oh. to two and three. I don't- there's no chance they're doing that. <laughs> Although I do have, for what I want, I want them to bring back one of the, like, original maps. Probably Wistful Wild, because it's the first and last map from the original game. That'd be pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Plus, like, in Pikmin 3, they stopped having the areas sort of resemble like areas we've been before which is fine but like I don't know I like the transition between Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2 because it's like you're watching the planet change and evolve and whatnot mm -hmm. I think um, we've slowly been getting to like more and more human stuff like in Pikmin 1 it was just you're on the planet it's kind of like like nature you don't really know that it's earth other than the fact that it's like earth is the only thing that you have that's nature and then Pikmin 2, we have human treasures, but then that's that's it, too. And then, like, you know, the dungeons, we have, like, bathroom mm -hmm. dungeons sometimes. Pikmin 3, I don't really remember any human stuff. Pikmin well, 3, they, they went backwards in Pikmin 3. They made it, like, more, more nature-focused nature. again. There's, like, no human stuff in that game. Yeah. But in Pikmin 4, we see, like, a picket fence, and we see a bench and stuff, and, like, an actual garden. Yeah. So, I mean, all the weird human-y stuff in Pikmin 3 is non-canon, like, battle mode maps and stuff. Uh -huh. Like the Christmas table map. I think, like, Pikmin 4 is going to have a huge story where, where like, it it might um, do a lot of scenic storytelling. Like, no, no like, lore dump text. But, like, it's gonna show a lot of what happened to humanity. Like, maybe we might even, like, visit the, the, how, the house and we'll have like a floor to look at and toys and stuff oh yeah I have that written down like there should be a whole level that's inside of a house and you never leave the house like the whole level is inside the house mm -hmm. but um what else 
Oh, here's something I like, want. Here's something I want, and it, it kind of relates to like how we were talking about houses and dungeons. Mm -hmm. uh, so if dungeons are back, I want a custom level creator, and I and I want it to be like have online compatibility, so you can have Pikmin Maker, like Super Mario Maker, but like Pikmin <laughs> Maker. <laughs> that is pretty ambitious. Yeah, but it's so cool. It's such a good idea. Because yeah. when when I was little. And when Street Pass was still a thing, and they just announced Nintendo Switch, I was like, oh, if they're gonna make Pikmin 4, I'm predicting that it would have some kind of Street Pass capability where you would walk to places huh. and with your Switch, and um, maybe other players would, would give you a random dungeon, or if you walk past like Pokemon Go, past like, a coffee shop, it might give you like a, a dungeon where you like have to get coffee cups as treasures and stuff. And then when Pikmin Bloom came out, I thought that was what that was going to be like. Hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to run through like a couple of quick ones here. Okay. A couple of quick predictions. Because a lot of these, I just... I'm not really good at predicting, so I just wrote some shit down. Yeah, that's fine. Like, that's, what I, <laughs> that's what I did, too. A regular duck appears, like, canonized by the Wistful Wild having duck sounds in the background. <laughs> Can you imagine what a fucking overpowered boss just a normal that would, duck would be? That would that Pikmin? would make the game, like, rated T if you kill an actual animal and then put it in your... Um... Onion. A duck could just eat the final boss of all three games yeah. like in one bite. Yeah. Um I think that the male from Pikmin 2 will come back, you know, to kind of keep re characters relevant like mm -hmm. Captain Charlie and shit. Mm -hmm. Some kind of like uh, way to make the game feel more alive outside of PNF 404. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. In in three, they did the uh, journal thing, but but I don't think it's I don't good. think it works as well with if it, if it's like unless it's o Olimar's journal where he was alone. I think the mail would be just better going forward. Mm -hmm. Um, I predict there will be a fully underwater boss where you actually have to like kind of oh. have your Pikmin swim after it. So it'd be like a blue Pikmin like only boss. Yeah. It'd be like a submerged castle kind of thing where you can only take them. Mm -hmm. But it would be like, actually, like you're submerged under the water and, in the and, castle. And, and all the mark. It's not like too. oh, there's a there's a puddle on the floor, so you have to walk through it with blues. You have to swim. You have to swim. Maybe like um, the captain can also swim too. So we get like instead of it kind of being like almost like 2.5D where we're restricted to being on the ground. That one, you can have, like, actual 3D movement, moving all around, up and down, left and right, forward, backwards. <laughs> like, so. Maybe. Although, I find that a bit less likely, but I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what, what they're planning to explore with this game. Um, um, I think, from from that, I, feel, I think they're gonna bring back another uh, Wraith. I think they're gonna... Yeah, I have new Wraith written here. There'll be a... It, they won't return any of the other ones. It'll be a new one. Because mm -hmm. the water one, the water wraith is dead. The ghoulix should be dead, maybe. Or the ghoulix is the water wraith. And, Something like and that. And the plasma wraith, is it dead? I don't think we killed it. It's not dead. No. In fact, they're kind of, they kind of set it up like it might actually return because it, it's... It's not dead. It's actually really pissed off that they left. With Louis, right? Isn't Louis still there too? No. What? I thought Louis was still on the planet. No, you're thinking of Pikmin too. Oh. I thought I thought I thought Louis was still on the planet when they left. Um, with all of them. Um, you know what? Maybe maybe I maybe I forgot. Because I haven't actually watched the cutscenes from three in a long time. But mm -hmm. anyway, I remember Daza <laughs> like mentioning that Louis is gonna be like Daza. Da sorry, I was thinking of like draw with Jazza and Daz reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Daz, dude, that his like uh, 
Umi Bazu video was yeah. so creepy to me as a kid. It's like, oh my god, Pikmin has deep lore! <laughs> but, um, he, he... here's something I would like, is... I don't think that there's going to be a time limit in Pikmin 4 at all. Really? You think like, it's gonna just be, like, morning and nighttime? No, 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 I mean, I don't mean that. I mean, like, in Pikmin 3, if you took more than 30 days, you would lose the entire game. Oh, oh, really? But... Yeah, like... I forgot that. Because Olimar's life support would run out and he would just be forced to, to try and take off, but if you're on day 30 and you fail, like, your ship's definitely not oh, complete, Oh, you, know? you said you said Pikmin 3. Are you talking about Pikmin 1? Yeah, oh. and, sorry, did I say Pikmin 3? You did Holy say Pikmin shit. 3. <laughs> okay, well, in Pikmin 3, they kind of have, like, a half-assed time limit, but it never, ever... Yeah, because you can ever... always farm the fruit that respawns. It doesn't respawn, but oh. there's so much of it that it may as well. Have you ever seen that video of them making the fruit juice, but the game like glitched out and over poured and it started pouring out the sides? Oh my god! And it lagged the I game so bad. I wish I could so see bad. some kind of crazy ass glitch like that. It, but it, the game like freaked out. It, it started going like one frame per second as soon as juice started pouring out the sides. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, um, I don't think it'll have a, a like, time limit, mm -hmm. but here's what I th wish they would do, is instead of making it so you fail if you take too long, it's, um, they kind of did this in Pikmin 2, where the more days pass by, the more stuff spawns on the overworld, mm -hmm. it's up to, like, beady long legs spawning in your base and shit if you get to really high days. I, I like they that. They should do I it so that so happens, cool. and, um... I have it written that the Plasm Wraith should just watch you while you're exploring certain levels, and if you start taking too long or progressing really far, it'll start coming into the stage and like following you around in the big ass goo form it had, the mysterious life form. <laughs> That's so It'd scary. be pretty scary <laughs> if you're on like, oh man, I'm seven years old and I'm on day 55. <laughs> I think I'm too incompetent to beat this child's baby game. <laughs> what am I, a child baby? I, I I talked about this with you a little bit before we started having the idea to make this video. And it's it's an endless mode in, in Pikmin 4. I still don't know <laughs> what it would be yet, other than like dungeons. But I think an endless Pikmin would be so fun. Maybe it's like, um, survive as long as you can and make as many make as much money as you can. You get a hundred Pikmin, you can choose, you know, how many of each you want. And mm -hmm. and here's like here's what's gonna happen. Or I don't really enjoy the challenge mode like format they did in Pikmin 3 just because I don't, I don't, like I don't know, game. it's a little it's not my style. Like it's a good it's a good mini game, but is, I would like something more survival based, is, I guess. Is there a challenge mode in Pikmin 2? Yeah. We we should we forgot to do that. We never did that. Well it's like we just get bored of things. Oh isn't it kinda on. wasn't it kinda lame actually? No, it wasn't lame. Oh. We were having a lot of fun. Oh. Okay, well we gotta we gotta do that again, <laughs> I guess. Alright. Okay. Let's make some videos of it. <laughs> I don't know. Um Alright, I've got written here. There'll be an enemy called the Scuttling Scratch Ass. Can you guess what that does? scratches your ass. Oh. The, anyway. the smallest Pikmin enemy to date? No, it'll be like, uh, it'll look like the desiccated leaf <laughs> enemy, but but it won't look like a leaf. It'll be blue with, like, a shell, and it'll crawl up and scratch your ass. Here, here's, anyway. here's an enemy I think they're gonna bring back. The puff stool. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm out of, um like predictions and I'm just down to the things I want oh. and I have enemies that I want back are Mamuta, Smoky Prog, Puff Stool, and Jelly Float. What about Gulix? Gulix? Who gives a shit about Gulix? <laughs> I think S Smoky Prog is big lore. Oh dude, what if I think I think we're gonna have um a mission where we land at the top of um a, like a like an ant hill or something, and we just have to defend our ship 
and the onions for as long as we can. <laughs> and 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 um every once in a while the sky will drop like some 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 like 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 plant food, some solar food, and we can mm-hmm. use that to spawn like little defenses and like little little plants. I, I have a really good idea for one. It's like a it's like a, it's like a like a pea pod. And it shoots peas, and like the okay, that sounds a little familiar. <laughs> no, okay, I'm kidding. But at the same time, I I, I actually here, here's just like an idea that I'm thinking of. It's like a, a king of the hill. Or, or, like, defend the castle mode, where... No, I totally... I have almost the same thing written Are down for what I want. Really? Yeah, I have... I wish that we, we would get a Pikmin game with a more, like, survival sort of leaning. Like, you can prepare walls and stuff, remove bridges, um, plant plants. <laughs> like, there could be more wandering enemies things that'll try and get into your base area, mm-hmm. and you can preemptively prepare for them coming, or set traps. Set traps for really difficult enemies, so that they won't, like, have as much free reign. I, I think, what what if some enemies, like, you know how in Pikmin 2 some enemies, like, spat out treasure when they died? What if in Pikmin uh, 4... Oh, my computer! What the hell? Okay. What, what if in Pikmin 4 some enemies, like, were just wearing treasure? Like a bull boar wearing a crown. And it's, like, really strong, and it tries to attack your base, and then you kill it, and you get the bull boar for the, for the onion, and you get its crown yeah. for, for money, for pokos. <laughs> and then, like, um... Or, or I don't know, maybe... I just, uh, I like the feeling of, um... Like a Gatling growing wanders into your base. Mm-hmm. It's just, like... Scary as hell, and I wish the game had more moments like that. <laughs> Dude, what if you could? What if there's like the day cycle where, like, at the end of the day, the day like you had to go back to your ship, but it would let you choose if you want to go back to your ship or keep or stay the night, and the night is like mm-hmm. super hard. I know that's something that you also I have that written about down too. too. I have nighttime segments written down too. Mm-hmm. It, it would it could be like a segment where you know your ship is fucking broken like completely screwed like a, and you just can't take off even if you wanted to this could be like where the survival mechanics come in mm-hmm. where you have to like build a wall and shit to keep out gatling groinks what if um like, yeah what like that that could be like a, i think that could be a story mission where like you land it could be like the part in Three, where Louis steals all of your food. Yeah. But more cool. Maybe, maybe the planet is just so mad at you that a bulborb just literally rams into the ship and, like, breaks it apart into pieces. <laughs> so you have to scavenge for the pieces, but also, like, defend your fortifications until you can get the ship back together and leave. That's the final <laughs> mission. Imagine if... That's the final mission <laughs> of Pikmin 4. It could be, and then, like, it's like the fucking... Mechanical enemies come out and like man at legs shoots down your ship and then you're completely vulnerable for the wraith to come and finish you off And that's the actual final boss That would be so that would like that would be so crazy because we know the wraith can like mimic enemies Mm-hmm. I think that the mechanical enemies should come back. They had this weird mutated um Aesthetic going on in Pikmin 2 mm-hmm. that never came back, mm-hmm. and I thought I thought it was really interesting and creepy to see things evolving symbiotically with man-made objects. It's like how that even happened. Yeah, M- maybe I don't know. Maybe. I just feel like they're abandoning some potentially cool designs and lore by just going back to this completely natural setting, like in Pikmin 3. Mm. Maybe um. Most of that stuff was like restricted, restricted, restricted to the underground. But yeah, if you think about it, the the plasm wraith is like a living thing, and it can mimic metal and stuff. So what if the man at legs is partially plasm wraith? It was like a spider that 
pissed off the plasm wraith and it like fucking ate half of its body and, and stuff. And then Paris is. I don't know. I don't really like <laughs> to assign extreme capabilities to the wraiths. Like I remember part of Daz's theory or something was that the entire planet is an illusion made by the wraith. Like <laughs> if that was true. If that was true, then why would it just become this tiny little thing that's capable of being beaten? It doesn't make sense to that, me. That, and also... I think it's just a weird-ass nuclear creature. That, and, uh, it's it's a bunch of weird nuclear creatures. And we also, Maybe they were created because of some experiment gone wrong, and that experiment is what got rid of all the humans, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Maybe they're just these weird-ass, like homunculus things that grew in a test tube and got out. Just chemical reactions creating a creature. I think, I think it's like, um, what if, um, oh, well, we, we know that it can't be true that the whole planet is an illusion, because we know what happens when the plasma wraith mimics a monster and it explodes back into the plasm, so. Mm -hmm. I think, um, some of the lore that we're gonna get is that there was probably some like nuke or something some big thing that caused radiation for the whole like planet to die um mm -hmm. human wise but then plants are capable of living through the radiation and that's why we have like bulwarbs and stuff all these weird monsters because yeah. bulwarbs are like what are they they're an animal but they also look like a mushroom so well i think that I think that it is definitely radioactive because Olimar's Geiger counter in the first game is going crazy constantly. Really? But also, isn't there like this phenomenon in nature where animals grow and shrink naturally just depending on how much oxygen there is? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, because if there's a so lot that could of oxygen. Why all yeah. the animals are so small now? Like, there's just very little oxygen left or something yeah. because it doesn't make sense to me that the people in Kopai would be like oh we have to grow this fruit but at the same time they can't breathe on the planet so it seems like maybe the, just the concentration of air is completely different and maybe that could have killed the humans yeah it could yeah I think it could be a combination of both the radiation breaks the ozone layer and there's no so the oxygen there's not enough oxygen even though there's so much plant <laughs> life on the fucking planet but whatever let's go with this and and because the, <laughs> there's like a, a less concentration of oxygen things that are big need more oxygen to live so because of that change they're all gonna die out and then the only things that will live are the small things and then that will keep them yeah alive. There was this weird ass. This is not really related, but kinda. There's this weird movie where these guys go to Mars on a mission to see if like Mars is survivable, and they find this cockroach human-looking thing, and it like runs at breakneck speed and just snaps one of their necks, and <laughs> it turns out that NASA sent like five cockroaches to Mars a year ago, but Mars rotates around the sun faster than earth does so or, or, or some shit like that so in mars time the cockroaches evolved for like six thousand trillion billion years so now there's they're this like super species of of creature that are like absolutely insane it's so stupid <laughs> it's funny nice um hmm What's another thing that I would like back? Oh, I, I have something that I want, uh, or and what? kind of expect. Light ragdoll physics. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh yeah, wait, um, going back to before when I was talking about survival, I have it written down here that, okay, even beyond survival mechanics, like, it doesn't even need to be part of this, but I wish you could plant your own plants. Like, there... There could either be designated areas to plant, or like, specific spots only, mm -hmm. if there has to be, but it'd be cool if you could make your own, um, you know, spice berries or whatever. 
That would be cool. It, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be easy to make spice berries, but you could make them, or you could just put something decorative there, something cool, like a fucking glowing mushroom, or, if you want. Just um, if you're revisiting the area constantly, then if you could put your own shit there, it'd be kind of neat. Dude. Um, there could also be some mild defensive things. I have written here that there could be a plant that like sprays out a little poison gas to weaken enemies or something. Dude, here's what I'm... If they wander through that area, it could just shoot at them. Here's what I'm kind of, like, expecting just a little bit. Some some sort of open-world capability in terms of gameplay. It would be... Ooh, would be I'm not expecting It would that. be weird. Because they would have to change up the formula. Yeah, they would change the formula a lot. But it, it would be a mix between, like, Metal Gear Solid Five and Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Where you have a, you have a big world... Uh, what the hell? It would just be like Pikmin 2. Is what I'm saying. But like, the worlds are bigger. And mm -hmm. because of the worlds being a lot bigger, you might be able to have points where you can call the onions to fly over to that spot, and they'd move from one oh. spot to the other. So that way you would conquer a whole map by unlocking these points where you can land. That would be awesome. As you play the I game. like the idea of making a new base mm -hmm. or conquering one because it's like very, very minorly explored in Pikmin 2 and Wistful Wild where your base is the final boss arena from the first game, which is so cool to me. Because mm -hmm. it is a big area perfect to land in and there's nothing living there anymore because you fucking killed it, so... Um, Do you think hmm. they're gonna bring back the bosses from Pikmin One as like maybe what regular? What bosses from enemies? Pikmin One? Like there was two bosses in that oh, game. The, the 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 beetle, <laughs> I guess. Oh, they really really should because why do the big ones just not exist anymore? You know. Yeah. Or maybe they're just so good at being alive, then they're just hiding. Cause what didn't they like burrow into the ground before you fought it? Um, did larva do? Sorry, I just got a text. Um, okay, here. So, for if if for a nighttime segment, I thought. Well, actually, no. This could even be its own area. There could be like a swampy area, full of mushrooms, and this is where Puff Stool lives, and the whole fucking place. Could just be covered in mushroom Pikmin. I like that. They could be an enemy. You could somehow cure them, maybe. Maybe you have to cure some and that's how you discover one of the new species or whatever. That's how you get yellows back or something. Mm. But, um... It would be a bit like... You would get a spray or something, I feel like. Because... The way they work in Pikmin 1 is honestly kind of weird. Yeah. Here's a but I don't know. I like them. It's it could even be a cave level. They should do another cave level that's entirely underground. Yeah, like like the bats in Pikmin Three, the wombats. No, like the the forest navel in Pikmin One, where the entire level is just a cave. There's no above ground. Oh, I remember that. He, he, here's a prediction: the game is gonna be, is the game is gonna have difficulty again. <laughs> I think, okay, I legit have it written down that there is not going to be any difficulty, and I think that the high, if they bring back the high difficulty that you can choose, it'll be the same as before. So like, oh, ooh, you get less nectar and you can use only 60 Pikmin, it's like not even harder. It's just not fun. If they, if they want to make a higher actual difficulty, they should maybe increase the enemy's stats slightly, change up the layout of the enemies so they're working together a bit more, because that's when they're really dangerous. Yeah, and put In more Pikmin enemies 3, down. the enemies almost never work together. They're always standing by themselves, and that's why it's such an easy game. Yeah. In Pikmin 2, enemies, like, spawn together, and then there's a yeah, lot enemies of... Enemies are always spawning and mixing up, and you have to kind of corral them around and, like pick them off because that's the only way to do it safely, you know? Pikmin 
4 is going to borrow elements of Breath of the Wild and have <laughs> and have outposts Shrines. and stronghold camps of of like boldmen that have that are standing on their two feet and shooting a bow and arrow with their mouth. <laughs> And they're gonna speak English and be like having their they're, own they're society. They're called Bacolborbs. <laughs> also, you'll be able to climb walls. Ooh, anyway, actually, um, here, here's an idea. Here's here's a thought. Um, there's gonna be enemies that have multiple parts. Like, remember this big flying skeleton thing in Pikmin Three that had nectar. It wasn't a skeleton, it was like a dragonfly. Really? I thought it I remember it being like skeletal. Nope. Oh. It's it's honestly kind of cute looking, but whatever. I, I know. Um But there's gonna be enemies with like multiple parts. I'm thinking there's gonna be um I don't know how it would work, but there could be like a tower. And, and there's an enemy inside of it, and you have to knock down the tower to get to the enemy, or something. And you, you bring that could work if it were like a tower. shooting enemy. Yeah, you bring the parts of Maybe the tower Maybe a baby groink. Home. Baby groink. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna bring back the uh, Gatling groink. I think, they should. I think with the amount of human stuff we're seeing, we're gonna have some like tech bug mutants again. I really hope so, but we've already talked about this. Yeah. Uh, here, 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 here's an idea, like, crabs, hermit crabs, and they're wearing the crawmads, but they're not ever, they're not in the hole, and instead, their their shells are like, chess pieces, and, 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 cans. and ketchup cans, and stuff, and stuff like that. Yeah, that would be fine. That's like the perfect example of what you were talking about before, about enemies wearing treasures. Mm -hmm. Um... And, and then if you get all the treasures, it'll just start using rocks or something. Uh, anyway, here. The rocks there should be Pogo. another talking ship. I think the ship should talk again. Yeah. Because they really, like, missed out on that kind of thing in Pikmin 3. The ship kind of talks. It talks, like, once or twice, it, but it, just has... it doesn't have a personality. Yeah, it's just, it's just, like, systems talking. Yeah, it's like, oh, object acquired. This presents a problem. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think the ship should talk again. I don't think it should have the same exact personality as the Pikmin 2 ship, but it should still... I don't know, I like robots. It's assertive. <laughs> it should be assertive. It's assertive? What do you mean? It, it has, like, substance, and it does. It isn't walked over and, like, glanced over. I mean, yeah, the Pikmin 2 ship was a little too assertive, if anything. Yeah. He kind of took over that game. But, um... I, I really, really... Okay, I know this isn't likely, but I really want whites and purples to return in the story mode. As they were, with no, like, altered stats, like in Pikmin 3. Mm-hmm. It might not be the easiest thing to implement, but I just really like that Pikmin type. I don't like wings and rocks as much, not even nearly as much. I like wings. I don't like wings. They're too weak, and their AI is weird for me. Yeah. I know they're good. I think whites are more fun than wings. Yeah. Although, I admit wings have more potential than whites. I, I just... I like how whites look. I like how it, they're extremely fast, even when carrying stuff. Wings aren't fast, they do take shortcuts, which is kind of, it evens out a bit. Mm hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, I think we're gonna get. But, oh, sorry. What yeah. Were you oh, no, I was just gonna say, like, if they do bring back purples, I want them to have their high attack stat back. I do think they should be a bit more rare, like they shouldn't just hand them out because purples are way too good. Either that or just make them late game. Make them like super close to the end of the game so that you can just go back with purples and like clear out things that you weren't good enough to clear out before. Yeah. Because they give you them at the very beginning of Pikmin 2 and they just break the game. Like there's, 
it's too easy sometimes. Although that game is pretty difficult if you're not good at using your purples. Yeah. What about? Oh, here's what I think is gonna come back. I think we're gonna get bingo battle or some kind of competitive uh, PvP mode that also has online capability. The online capability is a want, but the actual mode I think is likely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. I know they're gonna have side modes, because every Pikmin game has had mini games and stuff like that. Like challenge and multiplayer. Mm -hmm. I would like I don't know. This is kind of a personal thing, but I would really like some extra lore on the Pikmin, especially regarding the the enemy Mamuda. Mm -hmm. Because the Mamuda and the Smoky Prog both have these weird names, like that translate into like Lord of Pikmin, and. I don't know, the Mimuda has these wristbands that have the same pattern as an onion. Yeah. And it plants them to keep them safe and whatnot. It just seems like there's some history to this relationship, but it's not gone into. Yeah. I have this kind of theory that the Mimudas used to protect the Pikmin, that, like they used to be symbiotic, but it would plant them in the ground and then maybe they turned into candy pops, and then the candy pops turned into onions, and then they didn't need the Mamitas anymore. Yeah, some kind of freak of nature evolution, and they just wanted to eat the Mamitas. Some kind of mutually beneficial thing that sort of just died off. And the smoky progs are just Mamitas, but mutated. Which is really sad, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, dude. There should be a- there should be a freaking like, swamp-ass level. Or you can just see those things crawling around. You can just see them crawling around in the background, lurking, and then sometimes they attack you, you know? That'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be the final boss of that of that uh, level. Dude, what if... Um, yeah. Here's... For some reason, I expect this. Even though this only really happened with that Pokemon, Pikachu, and Eevee game, um... Pikmin Bloom companionship with the actual game on some level, where, huh. where um, you could maybe put in some of your favorite Pikmin, and they they could be stronger. Um, like your named Pikmin might be stronger in the game if you put them in, and stuff like that. Yeah, that could be interesting, although. And, and it would be the, in the huge crowd, and it might die. I don't know. It would be hard to, like, see them. Yeah. Maybe they could be slightly bigger. And the ones that wear hats, too. The ones Maybe they could just there. have a little garden mode, like like uh, in in Pokemon, where you can pet your, pick, your Pokemon. Aww. I almost said Pikmin. Like the Piclopedia or something. You can just bring your Pikmin in there and have them play around. You can... Place in treasures as, like, toys or something. Yeah. Place in enemies for them to fight and always win or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could just have a whole... You, you could just have a whole little, like, little Inferno-ass sandbox where you just throw in whatever you I, want I, and watch it go. I hope they bring back the interactive Piclopedia. Yeah, the Piclopedia in 3 Deluxe, I appreciate it, but... It sucks that it's just looping video clips of them instead of the actual instance of the enemy walking around. Yeah, in, in, in a level. That was so cool in Pikmin 2. It's like... Yeah, because you could throw in the carrots and then watch their attack pattern. Yeah. Um, with the Pikmin Bloom companionship, I think that Pikmin Bloom might get enemies? Because, I don't know, Pikmin Bloom's goal isn't to be... A game. It's supposed to be something to help you walk and make you walk more. So it's not mm -hmm. really supposed to be a game. It's supposed to be accessible. But at the same time, I think Pikmin Bloom would do good with enemies and and more stuff to bring back to base. Collecting. I don't really care about that game. To be I honest. don't either. I just wish it was better. I don't know. I think it's fine as long as people play it. Then whatever. 
It's a nice. It's nice that Pikmin is getting any attention at all, mm -hmm. outside of ooh Pikmin Four. You know. Mm. Mm. Next, they should do a new game plus. Yes. So like, yes. you can start from the beginning, but you have all the Pikmin types, and you can just speed run it as much as you can because you start with all the types. But it's like locked to the maximum difficulty, and it goes even further by like. Having more enemies and shit like that. I, I, I want, I want there to be like, I want it to be hard. I want it to be difficult and have a lot of enemies and new enemies that are maybe multiple parts or multiple phases. Reviving enemies. I think that if they, I think that to keep the game accessible for all ages as it's supposed to be, they should have some like dungeons that are long and post game. And optional. So, like, you can go through, and they'll be, like, pretty freaking long, like the Wistful Wild Dungeons. But obviously a bit better designed than those ones. Because mm -hmm. who wants to go through that experience of that fucking floor with all the logs and the water and five different types of enemies killing you at once? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the worst floor in Pikmin history. I think, I think, but, um, I think, quote, Balrog is going to be one of the developers of Pikmin 4. And he, he's going to, and he's only on the team to have his own game mode. And instead of new game plus, you're going to have uh, a new game, regular, new game plus, and then you're just going to have lands of torture ported to Pikmin 4. <laughs> the new game <laughs> the plus Pikmin will be called... Engine. The new game plus will be called I want a challenge. <laughs> yes. No, that's the difficulty you can set. You have easy, normal, and I want a challenge for. for I want a challenge for Lance of Torture. That's like the funniest thing quote Balrog has ever said. But um, fuck, man, that guy is so nice. Oh man, if you're listening to this to us talking, go look up quote Balrog and watch all his videos. Yeah, watch every single one. Watch his SpongeBob game streams too. He makes Pikmin mods for the second game and the third game, and he's one of the best. Also, he's super nice, so go go lick his butthole. And, and he's very knowledgeable. If you want to learn how to make uh, Pikmin 2 mods, he's, he's a go-to for that. He taught me how to make mods for Pikmin 2, although I don't do it anymore, sadly. Hmm. Anyway... He's going to be teaching us how I'm to make mods for Pikmin 4. Okay, okay. Um, I'm kind of running out of bullet points here to go through. Um, let me see if I got anything. I, I went through everything. <laughs> I went through everything I have. The only thing I have left is Tree Dungeon, where you climb up. Uh, Aquarium Dungeon. Aquarium. Ooh, I think I think um, you know how there's that like mini map where we land in places in Pikmin Two and yeah in Pikmin Two. I think yep. we're gonna have that, and we're gonna have one whole area where we can land on maybe the rooftops of some buildings of like actual New York City style buildings or something like <laughs> similar, and we can venture through. Maybe the first room that we get into, like there's a vent, and we go through the vent, and we go, and and that's what we deal with. Um, <laughs> the ship goes through a little vent into a room, and 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 that's the room that we do for a level. And it could be uh, an aquarium. We could go through an aquarium, an arcade, a bathroom, stuff like that. Whenever I would used to swim in my grandma's pool. I would always just pretend that I was in a giant Pikmin level, mm -hmm. and that I was the boss. Like, there was a level that's just this big pool, and you have to walk around on all the little pool floaties and whatnot, and swim down onto other things. I think that's where the swimming boss idea came from earlier. I think we're gonna have <laughs> in, in in the Pikmin three short. Um, the Pikmin got into a glove and they controlled the glove like a really good, like a human hand. Imagine, mm -hmm. <laughs> imagine if um, in in Pikmin Four we go and we find this giant, this giant 
Super King uh, Emperor Bulborb, and he's sleeping, and nothing we do will wake him up. We get Pikmin, and we find a magazine on the ground, and we find like bullets, and then we find the Glock parts, and we put the gun together and shoot the Bulborb in the head. Jeez. <laughs> And then, and then after that, we, we take everything and we turn it into Pocos. Yeah, you're such a nerd. Mm. I feel like there'll be kind of stuff like that, because... The reason they even made the shorts is because Miyamoto... ...wanted to show Pikmin doing stuff like that. Like, he wasn't satisfied with what they accomplished in Pikmin 3. I, I remember reading really? that, like... I don't know. Yeah, like... So it seems like he kind of wants there to be you deconstructing giant objects and shit, so it's kind of likely. Maybe that's why it's been in development for so long. Like, he was really... Because when Miyamoto's, like, disappointed, he's really, really upset. <laughs> so, and, and Pikmin is his, is his game. It's his game. So he wants it to be perfect, and he's probably beating the shit out of all the developers and trying to make the game as perfect as he possibly can. And that's why it's been taking so long. <laughs> I don't know. I have faith in, in, in Pikmin 4 being good. I mean, I'm gonna play it. Me too. I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah. I can't I can't wait for it though. <laughs> Still, regardless. <laughs> I wish we could at least see a little bit more of it other than one screenshot and 30 seconds of non-new footage. <laughs> of, of nothing footage. I, it was so funny to me when Arlo made that video where he was going to deconstruct the Pikmin 4 trailer and literally just had nothing to say. He, he admitted he just couldn't find anything. They showed, they showed very little. And the only things that you can really point out are the screenshot that just shows Bulborbs and the fence and the clock. Those are really the only big things that they showed. Mm -hmm. It's disappointing. Mm -hmm. And it's weird too, like, wouldn't they want to show something more? That's why I'm not fully excited because... You, you think I don't know, that they it just like, seems bizarre to not show anything. That they, that they might not have much to show if that's all that they wanted to show. Well, fuck. When Pikmin 3 got revealed, they were having, like, the winged guys flying around in the background, and you could just spot them and be like, Hey, is that a new Pikmin? Like, they at least showed something. Mm -hmm. They did something to give us a little hype. Maybe if we analyze the noise map, it's gonna say, like, help. And if we if we play the, the Pikmin 4 release ARG, we'll be able to get, like, a really good game. <laughs> you discover, like, a... PNG of the brown Pikmin. <laughs> the poop Pikmin. Poopman. Poopman. They fertilize your plants that you grow. And they say, like, wow. They drive a motorcycle and they have, like, jeans and fart a lot. Gross. It's Wario. I don't like Wario. Hmm. 